that the disability vote counts and we won't be ignored. Underneath the bell tower at the state capitol, dozens rally for a population they say makes up 25% of the state's electorate, Virginians with a disability. As the 1.4 million constituents that we are, voting is our superpower, allowing our voices to be heard. And they say that voice is growing. Rally organizer Rev Up Virginia, a disability advocacy group, says 2022's midterm elections mark the first time that disabled and non-disabled Virginians voted at the same rate. They add it's reflective of making voting access easier, which they don't want to see rolled back. The 40-day window for early voting. There's always been curbside voting, but still curbside voting. Drop-off, right? You don't right? just dropping your ballot in, a, in the drop-off mailbox. But at the same time, advocates say there is still room for improvement. CBS 6's Wayne Colville covered a survey of polling location accessibility in last year's election, and the results released earlier this year found issues like poor curbside voting signage and doors that couldn't be opened with a closed fist. There's still challenges in terms of training of poll workers so that they are respectful and not obtrusive in terms of um, their engagement with people with disabilities. But advocates say their focus goes beyond just poll access and to the policies put in place by those running for election. We still have a ways to go if we want to obtain full inclusion for people with disabilities. RevUp's co-founder says most importantly they want to make sure people have the support and services they need in areas like education, transportation and affordable housing. All these issues, you know, are really important to people with disabilities again to ensure that they're full participating members of society. And advocates say 2023 is a great chance to use that voice as all 140 seats in the General Assembly are up for grabs. Coming up at 530, a Richmond woman shares problems she encountered at the polls for the primary election and the response from the city. In Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.